Hello everyone, this is Kelly Johnson and this is my weekly summary in response to the flipped classroom. So the flipped classroom, as we've learned, is a unique pedagogical method in which the traditional classroom and teaching experiences are flipped, hence the name. Online lectures are assigned to be done at home as homework and class time is spent doing group-based activities and practice problems. So according to the article that we read, the flipped classroom or survey of research, this model has two requirements. First, it has a technological component. In the cases we've seen in field work that we've completed, this comes from either pre-recorded lectures or sometimes the instructor uses something like Khan Academy to teach information. And this is done at home. So rather than listening to a lecture the next day or the next time the class meets, students will engage in discussion, a project, or a class activity. The instructor will then, quote, guide on the side, answering any questions or serving as the catalyst for discussions, or maybe doing a bit of review, but the bulk of their time would not go, go towards lecturing. So one of my concerns when learning about flipped classroom was that it would exclude low SES students who didn't have access to the technologies needed to complete the tasks. Reflecting on my own experiences, I didn't have access to a computer or a smartphone when I was in elementary school or middle school, unlike my more affluent friends. So I was worried that low SES students wouldn't have the technology they needed to do their homework and the achievement gap would then be pulled in the opposite direction negatively. But I was impressed to learn about the fully flipped program at Clintondale High that not only serves a diverse population, but also is sensitive to their needs. In the video, they said that they allow extended hours at the computer labs for students to do their work. Something else I appreciate about the flipped classroom model is this emphasis on collaboration. When I was in elementary school and middle school and even high school, collaboration was essentially seen as cheating. It was discouraged. And I wasn't allowed to really bounce ideas off my peers. But I believe with more collaboration through the flipped classroom model, the students will appreciate and respect others' ideas, see their peers as teammates rather than competition, and lower their dependency on a teacher and see their peers as someone they can go to and ask for help. 